Hey guys, what's up? It's been a while, but I have been working on wrapping up my version 5 of my custom operating system. That's what I'm here to go over. We'll jump right into basically what is new for version 5. So there's not that many features, but I think it's a worthwhile jump in, in uh, you know, capability. Um, and hopefully you guys agree too. Um, so here you can see the list of basically what is new for version five. So right here, I'm just listing out basically all of the things that are changing for version five. And I also updated the patch tool. Uh, if you've used previous versions of, of like V3 or V4, um, this will be in addition to all the other features, which I'll also have a list in the description, basically all the features in version five. Um, and then you can always look back at my version three, version four overview as far as applying the patch, um, going through all of the older features that are already in version four or version three. And then um, this is just in addition to those. So um, really quickly, a two bar desired air fuel table. I don't know why I previously only had a four bar table. So for people that are using NA applications or only going to, you know, two bar map sensor, it only makes sense to have a two bar um, desired air fuel table um, as well as the four bar one. So that was a pretty quick addition. This one was a little bit more complex, dual wideband input and updated input pins. So basically I added the ability to not only input two widebands for closed loop fueling for bank one and bank two, uh, but also because I had to do that, I needed another input into the ECU. I think I added three or four. I don't remember the exact number, uh, but I'll pull that up in a second. <clears throat> and then the last one, which I think is the probably the biggest one, is map-based spark tables. So all of the spark tables, you can see there's five tables listed here. All of them will have a basically a map-based, so getting rid of the grams per cylinder, axis and going with a map based both two bar and four bar tables it's a lot of tables but this will allow you to do you know basically whatever you want um all the other modifiers for the spark tables will still work like the coolant temperature um enable table and all that all the stock ones will still function it's just the ones that were gram per cylinder are now map based so um kpa based um, and then updated to updates to the patch tool, um, it's better detecting the OS. So if you've done this in the past and basically reverted back to the standard operating system for logging, um, it will still be able to detect that version of the custom operating system, even if you don't change it back to the original custom operating system number. Um, and then also it will ask you if you want to keep the um, factory operating system ID whenever you are upgrading or applying the patch for the first time. Um, like it says, it's better for a commercial logger so that the OS ID is correct and all the parameters that you log will be available for the standard OS, just like it's the standard OS. So that's pretty much all of the features. So let's um, jump into the XDF. So the changes in here um, in Tuner Pro, uh, VE tables unchanged, boost control basically unchanged, uh, closed loop fueling, that is changed. So I also, uh, I added a input ready count so that it immediately doesn't go active. It's just a minor change. So I think I have a default value. Oh wait, no, I didn't apply this the patch to this bin yet. So let me take care of that. Okay, so here I have a basically a patched bin. So basically a factory um, 760 whatever three operating system that's just patched with the latest 5.2 version. And you can see here, I have a ready count of 10 counts. So basically it just goes through um, that loop 10 times and basically verifies that the, the O2 is ready. And then Oh, here's the wideband input selection. So there's four inputs that you can uh, have the wideband um, go into. And then you just basically put it, you know, for bank one and bank two, what 
input you're using. I personally use the EGR input for both. So basically you just put one for both and then, you know, it, it would use the same wide fan for bank one and bank two. Um, but obviously you can use a different one if you want to. Um, wide band calibration, so that was just the same as version four. And then that's pretty much it for that. Launch control, flat shift didn't change. Engine speed limiter, that didn't change for, from version four. Desired air fuel, like I said, there's now two bar tables for um, no ethanol and ethanol. So just like, you know, four bar, there's just two bar versions. And that's based on the VE table selection. So if you're doing two bar or four bar, it does the VE table and the desired air fuel table. And then also um, math parameters are not, not changed. But then also for the VE table selection, that also impacts what spark table you're going to be using. So two bar and four bar. So all five of these tables have two bar and four bar versions. And then... Um, this boost spark adder versus manifold pressure, that has been in version three and version four, but if you are using the um, map-based spark, if you are using this, then this will be disabled and it will um, obviously look at these for spark because this is kind of redundant. This only goes, you know, this goes from 105 to 425 KPA as a, you know, a, a retractor of spark for boost, but if you have, you know, this four bar table, it goes from 20 KPA to 420 KPA, it's kind of unnecessary. So it's we just basically disable that, that small table and you just have to use the, the Spark advanced table. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much all the new features for version five. So yeah, hope uh, this, um, you know, hopefully people will use it, give me more feedback. I have some ideas of what I would like to do for version six. Um, sadly, I don't have as much time as I used to to work on this, but I think maybe I need to start getting back into it. Maybe setting aside a few minutes, you know, a day and then just making little little by little progress. So before I end it off, just to highlight, um, version five will be on my Patreon. So if you guys are interested in upgrading to version five, um, definitely check the link down in the description. And if you're in, interested in version four, I will be hopefully pretty soon posting that up on uh, the PCM hacking website. So it will be free, um, but version five, the latest and greatest will be on my Patreon. So be sure to check it out. Thanks. And uh, yeah, we'll see you later. Mm -hmm.